Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and yesterday we got an absolute flutter of news. Terrible, terrible pun. But what we are talking about today is Flutter, the framework, Dart, the programming language, and Flame, the game engine. And if you don't have a clue what any of those things are, do not worry, uh, we will cover that in this video. But we're going to start things off with Flutter. Flutter is a new app framework. This is from Google. I shouldn't say new, it's been around for a couple of years now. Uh, but in the 2.0 release, it finally got uh, mobile and desktop and HTML support before it used to basically just be for developing mobile apps. Now it's just for developing apps in general. And that suddenly made it a lot more useful for people like you and I, namely game developers. And along with that, there is a game engine. I covered it in the past, it is called Flame. Uh, it is supposed to have got an update. We'll get back to that in just a second. But this here first is Flutter. It is the framework um, that is used, it's, it's open source. It's Google-based, which probably means that next Wednesday they'll stop supporting it. Uh, actually, Flutter seems to be doing quite well, so it's going to stick around for a bit. It is um, ultimately powered by the Dart programming language. Uh, it compiles down to ARM or Intel machine code, so it should be fast, but it can also compile down to JavaScript. So it, it's um, a very versatile language in that regard, but this native level performance it was also what makes it useful for game development. Again, you can hit all kinds of screens uh, using the same basic code base. This is something that's been around for ages as an idea of going back to Java and where they normally fall on their face is when it comes to the UI side of things. And basically Flutter, I think, started life as a UI toolkit and evolved from there. So they got the UI part down pretty good. And Flutter is used by uh, quite a few uh, applications out there. They use it for their own Google Pay. Uh, BMW uses it. Um, there is a um, modeling app called Rive that I've covered on this channel that is written to Flutter. Flutter seems to be doing pretty good. So the reason why we were talking about it today is this right here. Flutter 2.8 was released. And there's a lot here about Flutter that is all about the... Um, the performance side of things, which is definitely nice if you're coming at it from a game developer perspective. So what all is up in Flutter? Well, one of the major areas of focus for this release is mobile performance. Ideally, great performance will come for free, but in practice, any complex app needs optimization to make sure it uses the underlying hardware library as well. Starts with startup performance. That includes startup performance, which can be constrained by network bandwidth, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we've been using some of our experience with larger Google apps like Google Pay to invest both in making Flutter itself more performant and in giving you better tools to start um, to guide profiling and optimization of your own app. So performance is a big part of this. We've also um, easier to connect apps to backend services such as Firebase and Google Cloud. It has pr um, production quality support for Google Ads. We also have a release of Dart 2.15. Dart is the programming language behind Flutter. Uh, so that is the language you have to write Flutter apps in. Uh, we got some improvements for uh, improving developer productivity. And then you can see here they're focusing a bit more on game development. Uh, so as Flutter is an app framework. There's also a growing ecosystem around casual game development and taking advantage of hardware accelerated graphics supported by Flutter. I think it uses Skia, S-K-I-A, S -K -I -A, as the cross-platform render on the back end, although I think that is changing. I'm not 100% certain there. Uh, but you should get near native level 2D drawing support in uh, Flutter. Flame, and this is where it gets interesting. We are thrilled to celebrate the 1.0 release of Flame, a modular 2D game engine built on top of Flutter. Flame provides what you need to build games quickly, a game loop, also includes core primitives such as a component system, animated sprites and images, collision detection, world camera, effect system gestures, and input support. There's also modules out there, things like uh, for loading Rive animations. That is another program that was written using Flutter, as I mentioned earlier on. Audio players, Forge 2D, uh, a physics uh, engine like Box 2D, Tiled, Fire, Atlas, and so on. So they're announcing the, the release of Flame 1.0, which is going to get interesting in just a minute. So um, if you want to get into more details about what is new in Flutter, again, uh, performance improvements are definitely nice on startup, memory usage, profiling, and so on. Uh, dev tool improvements. Um, there's quite a bit in this particular release. If you want to get into like the, the real weeds of what was added in this release, I will link this down below so you can jump in with more detail, but I'm not going to go into that level of detail on what changed with Flutter 2.8. At the same time, Dart 2.15 was created. Again, Dart is the closest thing to Dart out there is probably TypeScript or possibly CoffeeScript. It's one of those, uh, originally it was a language that was like a better JavaScript. It compiled down to JavaScript. Um, 
but it's unlike TypeScript. It's not a superset of JavaScript. It, it does have to be compiled into JavaScript. And then over time, they added native language support and so on. Uh, so the 2.15 uh, release, it, there's not a ton of new features here, but uh, fast concurrency with worker isolates, new constructor tear off features, and improved enumeration support in the Dart core libraries, new features for package publishers, and more. So those are the details of Dart 2.15. Five that was also a part of this release. I'm not gonna, again, go into any detail with that, but I will link to this article. So if you wanna know what's new in Dart 2.15, that is there. Again, Dart is the programming language for Flutter. So if you don't wanna work with Dart, you don't wanna work with Flutter, for example. All right, so back to Flame, which is rendering very, very strangely. Let's do a reload and see what happens. There we go. All right. Uh, Flame is a game engine. I have covered it in the past. You can learn more about it at flame-engine.org. Uh, it is a 2D game engine uh, made on top of Flutter. Uh, it is well documented. It is well put together. Uh, it is modular in nature. Um, so they provide standalone packages to extend Flame, including, uh, again, their audio, Forge 2D, and Tiled support. Um, they do have good materials here on how to get up and started. Basically, if you're doing 2D games using Flutter, the best option, possibly the only option out there right now is Flame. Now, I Kevin mentioned a couple of times that they they said, congratulations on the 1.0 release. And you can see up here, version 1.0, and it's not marked as a release candidate. So 1.0 is out there, uh, but I have no idea what is actually new in the 1.0 release. So again, 1.0 is out there. Congratulations on getting it out there. And Flame is open source. So here we are on the GitHub page for the releases. But the last release announcement we actually have is for 1.0.0 release candidate 14. So I can't find release notes for uh, the 1.0 release. I can't tell you what is new in it uh, or anything to that effect. It just seems to be missing at this point in time. So if we go back to the, the GitHub homepage, uh, that again is not showing. They're not showing this release. They've got the, the release candidate stuff there. So it says 1.0 was released. I just can't, and the documentation shows that it's at 1.0 level. I just don't, can't find any release notes on what's actually new in that release. So maybe uh, they just weren't ready in time with those details to go along with the Flutter uh, 2.8 announcement. Uh, but uh, that does seem to be uh, where we are at on this one. If you're interested, this is under the MIT open source license. Um, there is a decent number of samples in here. So if you want to jump in and, and figure out how to, uh, to start to, uh, uh, flaming, I guess that doesn't sound right. Uh, th they can get you started here. So let's, where's the actual examples here? So you can see some of them live here. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that Flutter is capable of doing. So anyways, that there is Flutter. Um, there is also, if you want to, sorry, that was Flame. Uh, there is also this repository out there, uh, the Awesome Flame repository. I will link this down below. This is a series of tutorials and articles and uh, plugins and extensions and communities and so on around the idea of using Flame. So if the idea of developing games using Flutter, Dart, and Flame appeals to you, you're probably going to want to head on over to Awesome Flame and check that out as well. So that is the extent of the news here. The big one, I think, is that Flutter uh, 2.8 was released. But on top of that, as they, they announced right here, oh, sorry, I guess like, technically it's right here, uh, that Flame 1.0 was released as well. I just unfortunately cannot find official release notes on there, so I can't tell you what's new in that release. Uh, but as we saw, the documentation has been updated. I'm assuming if you pull the latest version from GitHub, that's the equivalent of what 1.0 is, uh, but I can't find those details. If you do find release notes for Flame 1.0 or they're released in the future, please throw them down in the comments down below. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think of uh, Flutter in general, developing games on it. And since I covered Flame last time, have any of you guys checked it out? What did you think of working with it? I haven't really got into all of this too much because frankly, I don't really know how to use Dart and I don't really have the time to pick it up. So it hasn't been a topic I've put a lot of interest in, but I, I do like seeing new cross-platform ecosystems open up. Flutter does seem to be, people like working in Flutter. Most people have a pretty positive opinion of it, but I would love to hear yours. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.